Sarah Miller, Ronald Reagan was just starting his presidency. It's 1981. Jamie Riggs has been calling the shots for most of those years. And fresh off a milestone win, the coach is very deserving of the spotlight. In his 20th season as a head coach, Jamie Riggs notched his 200th career win a couple of weeks ago. You don't need to be a math major to realize that's a pretty incredible ratio of success. But it didn't start out that way. After three mediocre seasons at Opt High School, Riggs took over his alma mater in 1989 and promptly lost the first three games. That's when he discovered the missing ingredient. Actually, I went to Pensacola and bought me a new tie and uh, and wore it, and we won. And so um, when I won my 200th game, I retired my tie. I had uh, worn it every game since then. Magic neckwear or not, it's been an incredible run. Four state titles and four more runner-ups. That's eight trips to the finals in 16 years at Miller. And it's not like they're churning out Division I prospects. Miller is often at a size disadvantage. But Riggs is all about a can-do attitude. We tried to make this a very positive part. You know, we wanted this to be a place where our players came in where they could could succeed, where they could do things. We think this is a place that the little guy can play. And uh, we wanted to, to, to work hard to allow those kids the opportunity to do that. It's a testament to Riggs' dedication. And for a unique insight into that commitment, we turn to senior receiver Michael Riggs. The other night, I... I woke up and went to go get something to eat or, or something to drink in the middle of the night at like 3.30, and he was up watching film and was like, you know, I, I can't sleep. And I was like, you know, no joke, you can't sleep. <laughs> but uh, he was up watching film. Just the hours he puts in and the hard work that he does, it, it, it affects us too. Even if you don't live with him, the coach's reputation is legendary. When you're younger, you see that he's winning, and he's that big guy up there at the high school, so you pretty much respect him by the time you get here, and you earn some more respect when you get here by the way he treats you. Great job of getting prepared this week. Remember, it doesn't translate into victory unless you actually go out there and do it. You gotta yeah. go out there. Yeah. Yeah. With all of his success, Riggs has had opportunities to go elsewhere, yet something always keeps him at Miller. The spirit of the kids here has is, is been what kept me here. It's been horrific, and... Uh, it's a, it's a good place to coach because of the players, and uh, they come want to play every day. They come want to be here, want to be successful, and it's uh, just made for a very, very enjoyable situation. About the only challenge left now is continuing to win with a different tie. Last Friday night was the first time I wore it, and the other team ran the kickoff back for opening kickoff back for touchdown, and I heard several people comment this week that uh, they made some suggestions in the stands that I probably need to go back and get my old tie. <laughs> You know what, I think he's probably going to be okay without the tie, but uh, what a program they have up there. I know you get the same feeling. When we go up there, you just get a great feeling. You talked about it being positive, and that's really what it's about. It's a positive feeling. Uh, he works them hard, but it's, it's in a positive way, and that's the kind of thing you like to see. Yeah, we, 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 I think probably every other Thanksgiving we're there because they're yeah. getting ready for a state semifinal or state championship game, and it's not Thanksgiving morning unless we're in Bruton at PR Miller at a 7 o'clock in the morning practice, but uh, yeah, it's always a lot of fun to go there. Absolutely. All right.